Hey creator friends, welcome to my channel. I am so excited. I wanted to let you know. So Brian and I, it's St. Patrick's Day and we came up to Florence, Oregon because AARP does this safe driving for seniors course that apparently, you know, I guess you would get a discount on your insurance, but it's actually really, really interesting. Um, sorry. We're doing it at the uh, Florence Senior Center and we get to have lunch so i'm going to take you inside i just stepped outside to do this video but we're going to go inside because they're having corned beef and cabbage and i was so excited because i wasn't going to be able to make any of this today at home but we get to have it here it's so exciting all right you guys brian's doing the taste test here he is do your taste test how's it taste fantastic okay good thank you pretty good well senior center meals are the it's awesome when you've got one of those Okay, friends, so we're home, and it was actually really good. We took this, um, the, you know, we finished up with this AARP safe driving course. It's a smart driver kind of guidebook they gave us, but it was actually pretty good. I mean, I have not taken any kind of driver training uh, for, oh, probably 50 years. No, not quite. Hmm, maybe 47 years, 40, anyway, long time, long time. Yeah, long time. But anyway, it was pretty cool. It's a six-hour co course. If you're interested, contact your AARP. Um, if you're in that generation, that you can do that. But it was cool. Like, they gave us the Oregon book to study the driver's manual for this year. And I found out some cool stuff in there. Um, they just gave us, basically, it's a six, six sections that they go through. And they talk about everything from, you know, we know that alcohol is an impairment stuff. But I did learn some stuff. One of the things I learned <clears throat> was how to properly adjust your side mirrors. I know that sounds simple, and I probably learned it in school, but I've always just adjusted them to where I think they should be, and I was off. So um, I learned that. So there was some cool stuff to learn, and I think it's good. And they didn't say anything about, oh, well, now you can get this certificate and get AARP insurance or any of that. It wasn't about trying to sell insurance. It was really uh, just kind of a... A safety thing and then they also gave us a smart driver guidebook which is their guidebook and then in the Oregon driver's manual what page it addresses that so they have the same information or uh, something that they have as AARP because this is national where it will drill it down to state specific so that was kind of cool and there were about seven people in the class and so that was good plus it was at a senior center and so uh, we paid, I don't know, what, eight bucks? And it was the St. Patrick's Day. It was corned beef and cabbage, and it was a really good meal. Um, you saw that. You would have seen Brian do a little taste test of the corned beef. So then the thing was, one of the things, you know, that you learn is that when you're going to, like, like they talked about a deer or an animal, you're just supposed to hit your brakes and keep your car going straight. I know that. You just do. You're not supposed to try to swerve out of the way. The reason is, is because when you swerve, if there's a car next to you or something, you could create a second accident. And now I don't know if this applies everywhere, but a friend of mine did that. And she discovered that if like there's a deer in front of your car and you just hit your brakes and you go forward. And if you hit the deer and there's damage to your car, that accident was caused by that deer. But if you hit your brakes and swerve and you hit another car or a telephone pole or a guardrail, uh, because she hit a guardrail and actually her insurance was billed by, I think, the state or something to repair the guardrail. Because that's like a secondary accident that you have now created because you drove your car into it. So that was kind of interesting. But it doesn't apply everywhere. It was a long time ago that she told me that. But the lady was saying, yes, yeah, you always want to keep your car going straight, hit your brakes, and hope that you don't hit the animal. So, classic, I'm driving because Brian's foot's broken. I'm driving home. We get to just south of Reedsport, a town called Reedsport, and I'm on the 101. And it's right where this one lane kind of merges to Winchester Bay, where it merges together. And there's two lanes coming this way. And there's a lady over on the side, and I think there's like an RV area. And a little white dog. It was kind of like... Colors reminded me of a Jack Russell, but the size reminded me of kind of a chunky Chihuahua. And it comes right in front of this white truck that's coming this way. He hits his brakes, doesn't 
clearly hit the little dog. I hit my brakes and I swerved, which they just told me not to. I swerved so that I missed the dog. And he just did this big U-turn as soon as he saw my car. And he ran back over off the side of the road. And the lady went off chasing him. But then I told Brian, I said, that would really be bad to hit the lady's dog and say, I didn't swerve because AARP told me not to. <laughs> that would be hard because you can't, it's hard for me not to swerve. Anyway, remember, I almost hit that dog. Yeah, well, back from <laughs> I didn't almost right. hit it. It ran out in front of me. But anyway, anyway, it's hard when you're trying to avoid something not to swerve. So that's always going to be in my mind, just uh, not swerve. But and then this is cool. So they're looking for volunteer instructors. And guess who used to teach in the Navy? And he's retired. So I'm like, he should do that. Next thing you know, they're talking to him. They're hooking him up. He might be going into teaching these little six-hour classes, which is kind of cool because we've been wanting one in our area and we haven't had one. Um, in fact, we signed up for it a couple times and they've had to cancel in our area. That's how we had to drive all the way to Florence for it. But anyway, there you go. If you have an opportunity to take one of these things, I don't care. It's always a good idea to refresh your memory and your, you know, learning and things are updated. And they talked a lot more about roundabouts because they're putting a lot more roundabouts in than just intersections. I've noticed that uh, when we traveled, but that's that. So I kind of rambled on, but Hey, as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.